Hello, I'm James Hortop, Managing Director of Merlin Equipment. I'm here today to speak to you about our Smart Gauge battery monitor. Smart Gauge is the world's most accurate battery monitor. It's also the easiest to fit and the easiest to understand. Now, these are big claims to be making, but hopefully this video will explain and substantiate these claims. Many have tried to copy Smart Gauge. In fact, there's a new product on the market today that's claiming to be a development of our product. It is an attempt to copy how the product works, but it really is a failure. And what's more is it moves away from the key core principles of Smart Gauge, which are ease of installation, ease of use, and superb accuracy. After all, most of our customers want to understand their battery rather like a fuel gauge, not have to understand the complexities of monitoring or spend hours on installation. All other battery monitors use a shunt, one of these, to count amper hours in or out of the battery. And this is installed in the negative side of the battery. Now, if you discharge a battery at say five amps for one hour, it is expressed that you've discharged the battery by five amper hours. This seems simple enough, but there is a big problem with this. An amper hour is not necessarily a fixed unit energy, or more accurately, the amount of amper hours that a battery can deliver changes. It changes according to temperature, the speed at which you discharged or charged the battery, the condition and the type of battery being monitored all have an effect. For example, if you take two identical 100 amp hour batteries, rather like the one which we've got sat here, and you discharge the first one at one amp for 10 hours, you'd say you'd have used 10 amp hours, right? Yep, absolutely correct. Take the other battery and now discharge it at 10 amps for one hour. You'd also say that you've used 10 amp hours in that battery. Yes, you're absolutely right. So would it be reasonable to say that in an ideal world, each one of those batteries now have 90 amp hours left in them, right? No, unfortunately not. The battery that was discharged faster would have used more energy delivering the higher current than the one that was discharged at a lower current. So what does this mean in real life? It means that there is an accuracy error. This error compounds over time, causes drift or synchronization issues with the battery. This is exacerbated by partial charge and discharge cycles and owners not resetting their battery monitor each and every time that they know their battery is at 100% state of charge. The graph shows how the error compounds cycle after cycle. After a while, the battery monitor will show the battery to be almost charged when it's actually almost empty or vice versa. Smart gauge works in a very different way to this. The real secret of Smart Gauge lives here at Merlin HQ, and unfortunately I can't show you it. However, what it is is an extremely complex and highly accurate system that generates a computer model of any given battery. Smart Gauge is simply a measurement device that tests what it sees with your batteries against the highly complex computer model that is built in within the unit. It never runs out of synchronization and it will self-learn over a period of time. And also, over time, the smart gauge will get more and more accurate. Many experts also claim that you need a temperature sensor to accurately determine the state of charge of a battery. It may help with a shunt-based battery monitor, but it's actually nonsense. A battery's properties will change according to temperature, and smart gauge already has this built into the battery model. A temperature sensor simply adds complexity, cost, and something that complicates simple reporting of battery state of charge. So please don't get me wrong, <laughs> I'm not rubbishing amper hour counting battery monitors. Indeed, we sell the superb TBS range of monitors which use amper hour counting and also our data cell product has an amper hour counter built in it too. But what I am saying is they are more difficult to install, they're more complex to understand, and unless you're versed in the ways of battery management, often it's well over the top for an installation on board a boat or a small vehicle. So let's get back to Smart Gauge and our demonstration. So installation wise, there's just two wires required to monitor the battery. No, we don't just measure voltage. You can measure lots of things with just two wires. A third wire can be added so that Smart Gauge can also show you the voltage only for your engine start battery. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install our Smart Gauge battery monitor and I'll show you just how quick and easy that is. So within the Smart Gauge box itself, manual, your smart gauge battery monitor, and we supply it with a small fitting kit as well. To install the unit in true Blue Peter style, here's one that I made earlier. This is very simply, very small cable loom with three wires in it, a positive for the auxiliary battery, 
a positive for the engine start battery and a negative wire and then the ring terminals on the other end. So let's get it installed. Complete. So when you first connect your smart gauge, it will show you which revision of software the unit is loaded with. It will then automatically determine whether it is connected to a 12 or 24 volt battery bank. After it's done that, it will then ask which type of battery is connected. And the unit is preloaded with seven different programs for ordinary open lead acid batteries, sealed lead acid batteries, ordinary AGM batteries, pure lead AGM batteries, gel cells and also there is an option for custom programming which we can send you the program for your specific battery type if we model it so we're now going to select which battery we want to use and in this case we're going for battery type one so just simply hit the select button that is locked into the unit and that's it so we've installed the unit and we've programmed it in less than five minutes and just running through how the unit operates it will show us the battery voltage for our auxiliary battery and the state of charge for the auxiliary battery. So at the minute it's showing that the auxiliary battery is sat at 75% state of charge. That is a default and the unit will need to do one or two cycles for it to synchronize properly with the battery. We then select battery two and that is the voltage of our engine start battery. So that's it, the unit's installed. Um, as I mentioned, it will need to do about three to five cycles to really start learning and adapting the algorithm to your batteries. And this is why smart gauge is suitable for use with any lead acid battery of any age and actually any condition. The state of charge figure is expressed as standard, the whole capacity of the battery. Therefore, you should really think about recharging the batteries when smart gauge shows that there's 40 or 50% capacity left in the battery. You can change this so that the unit displays the usable capacity of the batteries. For example, it will show that the battery has 0% left in when the battery is actually at 50%. This is particularly helpful when smart gauge is installed on items like cleaning machines, electric carts, mobility or hire boats where user training may not be possible. Smart gauge is suitable for systems of 12 or 24 volts DC and of batteries from 25 amp hours all the way up to 2000 amp hours. Smart gauge has a built-in low state of charge alarm and a higher voltage alarm for both the engine battery and the auxiliary battery. A volt-free contact on the rear of the unit allows you to run external alarms or even automatically switch on a generator. So that's it. Super simple to install, super simple to use and super accurate. No shunts, no complex wiring, no temperature sensor and even your granny can understand it. Finally, Smart Gauge also has the brains of our leading Smart Bank battery combiner split charge system already built in. By adding a Smart Bank Advanced Kit, Smart Gauge not only acts as a battery monitor, but also as the controller for split charging. And this allows for zero loss split charging, charge management from any source, engine, charger, solar, etc., and can operate as an emergency jump start. If you'd like to know more about our smart gauge or have any questions, please visit our website www.merlinequipment.com or give us a call on 01202 697979 where either myself or one of my colleagues would be very happy to answer any questions that you may have. Alternatively, if you find yourself here in Exeter, give us a call, come in and see us within our showroom. You can see smart gauge and also the smart bank system working. Thank you very much.